breaking news right now from where a SWAT standoff ended in Spokane. That's the sound of that standoff coming to an end as an officer blew off a garage door, the suspect on the other side. We've been following this for you all day. Authorities made neighbors stay in their homes all morning because officers say the man they were trying to contact had access to guns. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday night. I'm Ariana Lake. The standoff lasted several hours in the area of Morin View Street and Crest View. It's a story you saw first on KXLY.com. Our Caroline Flynn is outside of that home right now with more. Caroline. Well, I spoke with the brother-in-law of the suspect earlier today, and he told me that he had come to check on this house right behind me. It's the home of his mother and father-in-law who were not there at the time. He said when he pulled up, he immediately noticed that someone was inside and said he knew who it was as this has become a recurring problem for his family. It wasn't the Sunday morning residents on Moran View Street were expecting. Was that a bang or was that like gunshots? And then they just started saying, come out with your hands up. Kyle Sundin was getting up with his young children when he noticed the SWAT truck parked right outside of his home. I was opening up my windows and I saw the, the police cars out front and was like, oh, this is happening again. He says his quiet block has seen its fair share of cop cars in recent months as his next door neighbors deal with their troubled son. A similar incident occurred here in uh, in September resulting from similar charges from the same suspect. He's not supposed to be staying at the house and this is the second time he's gained access to the house and the police have had to come out and remove him. Removing him today took some effort as the suspect did not want to leave or speak with police. SWAT was called in and after several flash bangs, and announcements over a loudspeaker. They basically let him know that they were not going to leave. Uh, he was under arrest. Spokane police entered the home. And so today was a uh, success um, with the weapons that were inside the house. None of that was used, and we were able to safely uh, get the suspect out of the house and in custody. It was the ending Sundin hoped for. I was a little afraid. I didn't want to hear gunshots, especially with the kids. Um, so I was very glad that it was resolved peacefully. Now, the suspect in the standoff has been identified by Spokane police as 42-year-old Douglas Lampy. He has been charged with residential burglary and domestic violence. Be sure to follow KXLY on Facebook and Twitter as we will continue to update you on this story. Live in Eagle Ridge tonight, I'm Caroline Flynn, KXLY 4 News.